Hey friends, this is the Miss Avolfi from our Half Acre Homestead. Now, when I vacuum sealed my cheese slices, a couple of you sent me different ways to use my vacuum sealer with just normal bags. So we're going to try it out just to see if it actually works. Okay, so since Papa says he'll never say no to grilled cheeses, that's what we're going to have for supper. Never. <laughs> Never you're going to, you don't want grilled cheeses? Never will I say I don't want grilled cheeses. There you go. So I'm going to open one of my previously packaged vacuum sealed bags of homemade cheese slices. Wow, that did a really good job. And see how well they peel apart with the uh, parchment? I'm going to show you another trick with the parchment another day. And someone else suggested I put a book here, so I'm just going to put a notepad here because it will help keep this even. Now, I've seen two videos, and if I remember where I saw them, I will give them credit in the show more info box below this video. Okay, so the first one says to use a straw. Now, this is just a dollar store BPA-free plastic bag. Okay, now the pad underneath does hold the bag much flatter. You're supposed to put a straw in. I'm going to cut it to the length of the bag. And the straw needs to come to the vacuum seal part. There is a well here for the edge of the bag to go in and you want you want it to be dividing the two open edges of the bag and you want it to meet this well here. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Wow! Wow, I'm suitably impressed. It vacuum sealed this bag. Now, did it, but it didn't melt the straw. Okay, so it even sealed the straw. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this straw off. And I'm just going to take this edge and seal it again. Okay. That worked really well. My only concern would be the straw poking the um, plastic at some point. But other than that, that worked really well. So let's try number two method. I'm going to put our cheese in here. Straighten our bag out and make sure the uh, edge of the plastic is there. And I'm just going to cut it, but I'm going to leave it in two pieces. And I'm going to put the folded side, the sealed side, down inside. And the two pieces are going to come out. The two pieces of the bag that I cut off are going to come out with and coincide with the edges of the open bag. And we're going to try this. Make sure all our bag is nice and flat. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. And Bob's your uncle, folks. That worked, too. Nice and vacuum sealed. Now that I'm taking a closer look, the one that used the textured piece of plastic 
did not seal as well as the one with the straw. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? Two different ways, but uh, something to remember from when it comes time for butchering season. This is the Miss of Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, well, who'd have thunk it? Two ways that you can use your food saver or seal a meal without buying the expensive bags. I love it. Take care. God bless.